because when we are in the city centers, it, li it is like uh, pedaling on ice. And so this kind of tire allows you to have grip in the corners as well. Then I have the dropper seat post from Fox. And this is because we rider like to have more travel and more space to overcome the obstacles. And then it is equipped full with Shimano XTR. I have uh, Garmin pedals with the power meter sensor so that uh, at the end of the race uh, I can analyze my data and see how I can improve. <laughs> then I ride with Ursus flat spokes and handlebars because our races are very fast and uh, yeah, aerodynamics uh, is very important as well. Then I'm riding with the Fox 32 Kashima and compared to the cross country Olympic races, it has more air in the inside and I prefer to ride with a slow compression and rebound. So this is my bike, I hope you like it because as I rode it, I just fell in love with it. Ciao! Well, thank you very much to Gaia for running through the bike for us. So, lots to take home from that, really. Very much like we machine. No, no suspension. It's all about getting the drive straight through, having the feel, having the responsiveness, tyres that give you the grip. And as Gaia said there, it's like riding on ice around the town. So that is in the dry, never mind when it starts spraying and gets wet. We also have to take cover of things like the compression and rebound. So that is about how much it compresses, how much it gets involved with the rebound, how fast it kicks back out. Front suspension fork will really, really nice. So not quite a rigid fork, but a little bit on there, a little bit of compression on there, so able to drop down and compress in so that basically the wheel will hit the floor and then it will keep track on the way round. Really interesting to see that she's going for that. So this is where it comes into play. This is our course, a reminder for you of what our course looks like here today. So this is where that frame that Gaia has comes into its own. Lightweight and it's able to get the drive. There's no, nothing taken out. It's pure drive straight over the top. The fork just soaking up the bottom. When you land, being able to take the buzz off the cobbles. When you hit this, suspension again, tracking as it goes over, and you go out of the dip, the compression and expansion has to be set so that when you go into, for example, here, and it compresses down enough, but it kicks back out as the compression comes off. So as you come out of there, the fork will be lifting its way back up again. You'll be just expanding enough to hit the compression through the wave. Again, suspension really critical. Aerodynamics play the part. The more aerodynamic the bike is, the faster it goes. You produce power, you produce watts. That is about making you go forwards. Now, turns like this, we see it unweighted. This is where it's really key to have great tyres. And we saw that there's still some studs at the side. They're not totally slick like a road bike tyre because we have so many variations of surface. And of course, we have cobbles, we have the wooden bumps across the rumble strips. So you can see, once you've seen the bike, put it into context with the run, put together, that whole package is absolutely critical. But the most important thing is what the rider can do, not what the bike can do. So we have got a quick run through for you of some of the action that's so far, because there's been a lot to digest. Tito and Perrin Gagne out in the eighth finals, taking out the final corner. So many riders with mechanicals on the way through. These starts so critical when they take off. We've seen Fromberger come through with some immense power. We see riders getting strong. This is uh, where we have seen issues coming through, but mountain biking, it's all about fun. Now, here she goes. This corner, a classic example. It's like being on ice. You've got to get the compression right. You can't afford the fork to move too much. That will unweight you. If you get the pressure wrong, you're going to be in trouble. You want to be able to get maximum power through the bike to get the speed, but you've also got to keep control. Um, in the words of the great Nick Craig, speed is nothing without control. So grip over speed every single time. So the final for the women will be Marion Fromberger with Agnes Abramson, Gaia Tormina and Colleen Plajor. The men's final, Lorenzo says, Thibaut Karlhoven, as well as uh, seeing Rook in there, but it's our women's final first. Let's get right down to the action. So, the defending champion, Gaia Tormina of Italy, the former champion from 
France, Colleen Closure. From Germany, we have Marion Fromberger. And from Sweden, Agnes Abramerson, who will get the quick start. This is the final. This is for the top spot. This is for the World Cup win. Here we go. And look at Clajure come out of the uh, blocks there. She's got position. Tormeda is not going to get this her own way. She's used to being the fastest starter. She likes to race from the front. And it's Abramerson who's going to get the fastest out of turn out of the corner. She has the position she wants. She is in P1. In two is Fromberger. Three is Tormeda. Four is Clojure. And despite Clojure's incredibly quick start, she's down into fourth place. Now, around this turn, you can see the riders really putting the lean up, quickly flipping it across, transferring. That puts the load on the tyres. That switches the centre of gravity, keeping smooth key. Tormena keeping in a touch. Clojure just a little bit further off, but not far. Certainly not too far off the back. All the riders are going over the doubles there to come round. Abramerson on the gas now. Look at Fromberger go, though. She wants this first place. She doesn't want to be further back. Tormena goes on the other side. And you can just see Abramerson has gone from first to third here. So, Fromberger in one. It's Tormena in two. Abramerson in a three. Everybody seems to have a go on the front. They put the power down to get to the front. And then they seem to struggle with the pace. And Abramerson looking like it's going to be game over. She's going to be hunting to keep that third place. What are these two old battlers going to do? They're young riders, but they fought together for years. And they're going to be doing this again. Tormena sitting in second wheel. Fromberger elbows out, trying to dominate the track. And she's going to take the inside line. And round the outside goes Tormena into the double. She's going to lead in. Can Fromberger carry more pace round this corner? Can she get the drive up? Can she get the kick in? Tormeda in one, Fromberger in two. Fromberger's burying herself to the line here, but it's going to be a win. Well, it's been a while in coming for this season round, but it is a Gaia Tormeda. She took a win in Lumen. Maybe it's something about being down on the cobbles because Gaia Tormeda takes the win. She hasn't been able to do the normal back-to-backs from Berger back to her best after a heavy fall in Arlen. She takes second place. Then it's going to be a third place for Agnes Abramerson, who led them out here. What a race. So Abramerson really high on that wall ride. Keeps the drive there. But you can see the experienced riders do not panic. They sit there and wait, wait to pounce. The winning time. 1 minute 45 seconds, it's 1.84, back to Fromberger, 4.27 to Agnes Abramerson, and 6.67 seconds down to Closure. Right, women's finals done, on to the men's finals, this is going to be critical, Roque, Karlhoven, Schwarzenberger, and says all these riders want to win, we have two teammates in the middle from France, three Frenchmen versus one Norwegian, but we have four big personalities and four fantastic riders. Who's going to get the start here? Oh, it's going to be Rod the Norwegian. He's got all the Frenchmen behind him at the moment. He's going to have to come back in tight here. Can he hold this position on the corner? You saw how many times those positions changed behind the leader. Obev de Rica currently moving up. But look at this. There's the champion, the French national champion, comes round the outside. He's into second position. Now, Roque must be thinking, when are they going to have a move? Where are they going to push? Late on that flick across. Oh! And next rider down. He goes down on that very same spot. Slides out. The rider's pushing to the limit of grip. That is a heavy fall. He's going to have to pick himself back up again. But you can see the race leader coming around the turn here. This is a rope with Serres in second place here. Now Rook is pushing. Serres in second. Are we going to see any kind of answer come behind? Who is going to move up here? Is it going to be the man in third place? Can he bring... Oh, Serres nearly got that wrong. He wants that first place. He's giving it everything. He did get his elbow in front. Rope defended that successfully. And Serres is right on the limit. He can't afford to make a mistake chasing the first place. Round this corner. Do they keep it rubber side down? They do. Oh, so wide. They're running wide there. I'll tell you something. Serres is bouncing everywhere. That back wheel is hopping up on every single jump at the moment. Over the double. Smoothly done. 
now Seris runs on to the back he runs on the back a bit early he's going to be run wide by Roke he's not going to come round the right hand side can he come on the left hand side here it comes no oh, the Norwegian takes the first win what a way to come out and race here at the Eliminator World Cup Oh, big my goodness me, I'm surprised got the engines to do anything. That was explosive, and what a win for Sondra Rock of Norway. Fantastic finish. We have a new force to be reckoned with on the Eliminator scene here this season. What a kick in. That was some performance, whatever they could do, there was nothing they could do about him from the word go. He got himself there. You saw Ceres take it to the absolute limit of grip. Here we go, from the start here. Watch the Norwegian, our left, their right. That stop put five meters into the rider at the back there, and then he just defended his position by putting on the gas. Smoothly done, slide out here. Not what he wanted to do, Carl Hoban hits it to the deck. Now, that did hold up Schrotzenberger a little bit. Schrotzenberger maybe ruined that. Oh, and you can just see Serres accelerating in. Rope looks across, he puts in two or three pedal strokes, and that is enough to stop Serres going round the side there. That is the power of the man. Great timing there. Wow, look at this, a rug over the top. You can just see Sarah's trying to get the run on here. He puts another dig in as they come down the straight. It's not to be. Bangs the bars in frustration. He tried everything. I'm not sure what else he could have done there to get past the big Norwegian, but that is a fantastic result. So Sondra Rock, the winner. We've got Lorenzo Sarah's in second. We've got Schwarzenberger in third, and it will be Carl Hoven in fourth. Well, fantastic racing all the way around. But let's uh, have a word with the women's winner. It's two wins this year. So let's uh, see what Gaia Tormenda, the world champion, has to say about her ride here today. Gaia Tormenda, congrats with your second UCI World Cup win of the, of the season. How are you winning? Uh, how are you feeling now? <laughs> Thank you very much. This day started as a very, very bad day in the quali. I couldn't feel myself as always. So my goal of the, of the day was to reach the final and I was just thinking about the overall ranking. Then I did a quite slow quarterfinal and something happened in my legs and most of all in my mind. And so I started to study my opponents from the semifinals and I did the uh, conservative final, studying uh, the other girls and trying to do my best uh, and yeah, grab the best result for today. You won in Leuven, you win in Oudenaarde, Seem like, seems like you like Belgium and the, f the fast city races? Yeah, this year Belgium is a lucky country for me. Uh, luckily, the finals were, were not wet as the qualification time trial and so yes, I will stay in Belgium for the rest of the weekend because on Tuesday I will race on the road. And so, yes, I'm happy to be in Belgium. Thank you, Belgium. Thank you. Enjoy your stay in Belgium. Well, I think there's going to be a very happy guy at all in Belgium. We have to watch out for her in the future. And we have seen an established star taking away the win. We've got a brand new star from Norway putting down the power kicking from the start what a ride what a way to take a win let's hear from the sensation that hit us here today in Udenard. Sandra congratulations you're a, su you're a surprising winner for us tell us how was your day yeah it was very nice just very surprising to be so feel so good today but uh for sure uh really hard race from the start and uh yeah almost overcooked it on the last jump so uh, it was good to stay in front to the finish you won the continental series race in Fallen. you win here in belgium a completely different race uh, seems like you can win everything yeah i wouldn't say that but uh yeah maybe we'll see uh, if it gets some more uh xces uh, throughout the season but uh yeah 
What's uh, the next race we will see you? Hopefully Spain, but uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, it would be fun to race there. Hope to see you there. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, great to hear from him. Great day at the office for him. Great day at the office for Gaia Tormena. And I'll tell you something, that man needs to ride all the series because that was an imperious show of power. I don't think I've seen anybody ride as strongly as he did, as uh, he did there with such composure to look across as Lorenzo Sayers comes up the inside, trying to get the elbow in front. He was super smooth. He managed to keep that uh, clean. So we are going to get our riders presented with their flowers are down here, the traditional flower ceremony for our riders. Taking away third place from Sweden, Agnes Abramson. Taking away second place, Marion Fromberger from Germany. But the race winner is Gaia Tormene, the world champion from Italy. Her head was in exactly the right place when she'd done her homework. And champions are made when they get the racing right, when they've had it wrong. It's not just the easy days, it's the hard days that show the metal of our riders. So well done to our three women's uh, top three riders. We're going to be moving across to the men's very shortly. But we'll take a look at the standings after this. So this is after the racing. Tormena holding top spot from from Berger Van D still holding in third place. Agnes Abramson, though, moving up closer, now only sitting what is a, a 41 points behind. So that podium position is not secure just yet. She's got to pick herself up from today's crash. Now let's go across to the flower ceremony, the presentation to our, our riders here in the men's competition. An absolutely frantic run. Quinta Schwarzenberger taking away third place for France. Lorenzo Sayers taking second place for France, but two Frenchmen either side of the Norwegian. What a win there for the Norwegian. He did an absolutely faultless race run, and that means he's going to be scoring some nice points in here, moving himself up into ninth place. Sandra Rock of Norway straight in into ninth position. He is going to be a threat if you rise them all. Perrin Gagne, 188, and he will be thankful that Gegenheimer didn't make that through because that was a, a big gap uh, that could have been opened by Gegenheimer, and it didn't happen. Top three, Perrin Gagne, Gegenheimer, and Karl Hoven all sliding out, crashing out, or being raced out of the finals. That means it's got a lot closer between the top and the middle of the rankings. Great to see. Fantastic day here at Udenada. Fantastic racing. It's been absolutely great to watch the action. We have had a lot of fun making sure that we get you as much of the action in as possible. Some real surprise results here today. It sets us up fantastically for the next round. So I'm going to leave you with the action from me, Matt Payne, and all of the team here at the XCE, the Mountain Bike Eliminator World Cup. Stay safe. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.